You ever just wake up and you're like, man, I could, I could really use a good laugh today. Today's one of those days. I was uh, casually scrolling on Twitter this morning and uh, I came across something that I thought would be a, a fun video to uh, watch and react to. And it was this tweet right here. Uh, this person uh, <laughs> tweeted this image. I guess, uh, I don't know if this is like Watch Mojo or if this is like something different from Watch Mojo. Um, but they, they, they put out a video counting down the top 10 hardest bosses in Kingdom Hearts. And I, I'm sorry, I, I immediately saw Dark Inferno and Antioqua on the thumbnail and I'm like, dang, this is, uh, this is going to be a list. So we are actually going to watch and react, uh, to this list today, or you might want to. You might want to shield your eyes for this one. Now, judging from the thumbnail alone, uh, watching this, you got to keep in mind that, yes, this is from most likely from a, a very casual Kingdom Hearts player standpoint, which is OK. You know, everybody experiences the series differently. Everyone has their own thoughts and opinions of the series. And, you know, some people might not have fought certain bosses. Uh, that other people fought. But it is gonna be fun to watch this and, and just kind of see what, uh, you know, what uh, what they think the, the hardest bosses in Kingdom Hearts are. We're just gonna get into it. Leading off with Sephiroth, of course. Of course. I'm wondering if Yazora is gonna be on this list. He obviously should be. I'd argue he's probably the hardest boss in the series. But I wouldn't be surprised if he's not, just because of, uh, you know, I don't know if... The more casual Kingdom Hearts players have even made it to Yazora, because he, he is very difficult to get to. You gotta do the, the, the data fights and everything, but... Hey, we're here to have a good time and... See if we agree with anything on this list. Unlock your heart. And let us know down in the comments. I'm sure we will. All right. Schwartzgeist, Kingdom Hearts Three. Huh? Uh. <laughs> what? Wait, they actually put. A gummy ship boss? The gummy ship returned in Kingdom Hearts 3 on this list? Away, and even allowed for free roam. That's how you're leading off? Should you upgrade your gummy ship to the top speed of 200, you can enter a green whirlwind. <laughs> Listen, I'm not I'm not going to, you know, debate and argue that, you know, some of the gummy ship fights in Kingdom Hearts 3 can be kind of difficult. I'm not going to I'm not going to, you know, get into that but to put it on a uh a top 10 list of the hardest bosses in kingdom hearts as a whole bro i forgot about this thing like <laughs> it, it's just it's interesting that's that's a good primer to uh to see how this list is gonna go if you manage to survive its barrage of missiles and laser beam attacks you might think the fight is finished but nothing's over till it's over Interesting. I remember fighting this thing, and I'm pretty sure it didn't take me that long. But I, again, everyone's everyone's experience is different, you know. Got to keep in mind this is pro it's obviously from a most more casual uh, viewpoint. Okay, interesting. One of my favorite fights in the series. Necessarily difficult though. I mean, has access to many of the same abilities and attack. I would, I would, uh, I would make a case for like data Roxas, like the data version. At this point, I'm not even expecting data fights to be on this list, even though those are legitimately probably the hardest fights in the series. But, but normal Roxas, really? Which, in addition to this being a one Again, one of my favorite fights. That move is bullcrap, so I get that, but... Roxas enters the fight with dual keyblades and quickly puts... I don't think it's keeping Sora terribly difficult. Defense. Once you manage to do enough damage, Roxas becomes increasingly desperate and aggressive, 
unleashing a barrage of laser attacks that sweep the battlefield and are difficult for Sora to dodge. Interesting. The best strategy is to not let up and continue with your own aggressive tactics. <laughs> the best strategy is to not get hit. Additional attacks. Good strategy, thank you. Incredible fight. I do like it a lot. It is, again, one of my personal favorites. Difficult? Eh. Maybe it's just because I've played it so many times. Kingdom Hearts 2. Anyone who invokes parlay must not be harmed till negotiations are complete. This is no time for rules. The true. But as we're honorable pirates, we should always stick to the code. Really? All right, you. <laughs> First encountered when the trio heads to the world of the really? Caribbean to rescue Jack Sparrow, your first encounter with the Grim Reaper isn't much of a challenge, as his attacks are easy to dodge. But even Grim Reaper 2 isn't bad, it's just annoying, because you have with the you have just have to use magic. I would have laughed if they would have actually said the first encounter, because the first encounter is stupid easy. The second encounter is definitely more difficult, but like it's very gimmicky, and you just gotta use magic. ...and becomes impervious to your attacks. Only by following the button prompts to steal back the gold and return it to the treasure chest do you have any chance of finishing this fight. Did this guy not know that you can use magic? ...and a few of his explosives, you can speed up the rate the Grim Reaper drops his booty and send him back to the briny depths. Okay, he is using magic in the video, but <laughs> it's funny that he didn't mention that because, you know, in the in the pirates world, like, that is, that's a mechanic that they hint at and kind of, like, train you at throughout the whole world is that you have to use magic against the undead, against, like, the, the more human enemies because that's what they're weak to. Um, I just think it's funny that he didn't mention that. But Grim Reaper 2, like I said, it's it's more annoying than difficult. I don't think it's terribly difficult. Um, but again, it's this is a list, you know? This is a list. Definitely would not have put that one on my list. Kingdom Hearts 3. You require motivation. Okay. Let's let's see let's see what he says about Xehanort. I'm I'm willing to bet this is only going to be bosses from Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and 3. I'm willing to bet there's not going to be any mysterious figure birth by sleep. There's not going to be any uh, days bosses, like anything like that. Nothing from Dream Drop. Has been leading up to this. Again, a more casual viewpoint. Back to back wasn't enough of a challenge. Xehanort himself finally steps into the ring. I will say on on critical mode in an unprecedented this whole final encounter is pretty difficult. Xehanort teleports Sora, Donald and Goofy within his own heart to lay down the gauntlet. While the first couple stages are fairly straightforward Kingdom Hearts boss battle fair, the third phase limits the player's abilities underwater. Yeah. Like I said, on critical mode this is, this is pretty difficult. Um, so I'll, you know, I'll, I'll give this one to them, right? I'll give this one to them. I don't know if I would, I'm not sure if I'd put it on my top ten. I'd have to think. You know, I'm wondering if any secret bosses are going to be on here. Because if there's no secret bosses, um, then okay. You know, I kind of understand more where they're coming from. They're going more like the story route. But then, then again, they had the... Kingdom Hearts. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Um, I didn't know if they were going to... I mean, I was going to say, I didn't know if they were going to do optional bosses, but they did do... A, they led with a gummy ship boss, which is completely optional. Because Ice Titan, I can understand. Kingdom Hearts, the Ice Titan certainly makes I can understand. Being the Ice Titan, naturally most of his attacks are ice -based. Again, I'd have to think to if uh, I would put it in my top 10, but it's definitely up there in difficulty because you got to you got to block the projectiles, you know, but, even a couple of his ice attacks can but his freeze attacks are, are rough. Bring the Titan to his knees and do as much damage as you can as quickly as you can before he recovers and do your best to avoid his ice blast. Okay. Rinse and repeat. That one I can maybe I can maybe agree with. That one is is pretty tough, especially casually, if you have no idea what you're doing. I understand that, but this is also on a list with Grim Reaper. Aqua, Kingdom Hearts three. This keyblade. Yeah, so so this is what's interesting. Anti Aqua. I don't even know what number we're at, but Anti Aqua. I don't know if there's a specific order. <laughs> 
But Anti Aqua and Dark Inferno are going to be on this list because they were in the thumbnail. And uh, I can understand maybe Phantom Aqua from 0.2 because Phantom Aqua is is tough. I never even beat like the super boss version of Phantom Aqua, I don't even think. Yes. So I get that. And but character and main protagonist of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep facing a corrupt This is just a much easier Phantom Aqua fight. Sora has fought up to this point. Again, they're not going with, you know, there's not going to be 0 0.2 on this list. They're probably only going with 1 through 3, but still, I think there's other fights that you can pick from. Defeating Anti-Aqua cures her of her corruption and reunites her with her old friends. Okay, again, wouldn't put it on my, on my list, but, um, you know, it's a list. Ansem, Kingdom Hearts. Okay. In theory, he might be talking about Boat Ansem, World of Chaos Ansem. Surely not the first phase. The final battle in the original Kingdom Hearts. Ansem's or unless he's talking about the whole, all the final fights. Because I, I get that, especially as like your first Kingdom Hearts game. It definitely would be pretty difficult, right? And like you have to, you have to look at it from. Is where Ansem yeah, so he is going through all the phases. Because you got to look at it from a, a standpoint of like, this is your first time playing, and also from a more casual standpoint. So I get it. I get it. Again, personally, don't know if I'd put Ansem up there for me. But this fight on level one, I will say. That is one of the hardest fights in the game. I, the th th Ansem 3 on level 1 is a nightmare. <laughs> Dark Inferno. Kingdom Hearts 3. Mm. <laughs> um, I would even say that most people would agree, even from a casual standpoint, that out of the secret bosses, if you're picking secret bosses... And putting them on this list, which is, you know, like that's, I don't want to say it's surprising, but it's surprising that you have, uh, they have Dark Inferno on this list. And they don't have, I mean, I don't, I haven't finished it, but like, I'm hoping like Yazora or like Lingering Will or like even like Kurt Ziza, right, would be on the, because Dark Inferno is arguably the easiest secret boss in the series i'm sure sephiroth is going to be on this list as well i'm still laughing at the fact that they they put a gummy ship fight on this list i can't i can't take it seriously i just i just can't don't get cocky once dark inferno's health is almost also depends on what level you're fighting dark inferno because it could be difficult like that's that's like the other thing right you know you got to keep in mind of like because obviously, if you fight Dark Inferno on level 99, you're going to shred him to bits. And even, like I said, casually, like I think, I would argue that Dark Inferno, and I think most people would agree, is definitely one of the easier um, secret bosses in the series. But you have to keep in mind of like, we don't know like what level that these people are like playing this at. Like if you're like level like 40 or something going into a Dark Inferno fight, yeah, it's probably gonna be pretty difficult, you know? Like I, so that's like another thing to keep in mind. That's why I'm also not like bashing it too much. Cause again, everyone's experience is kind of different, but at the same time, like, you know, out of all the bosses, they did put a gummy ship boss on this list, which is funny. Um, again, not I would not have put Dark Inferno Sephiroth. here. Okay, Sephiroth. Interesting, though, because I personally think the Sephiroth fight in one is easier than two. I think the two fight is harder, but that's just me. Maybe because you can cheese it easier in Kingdom Hearts 1. I would say Kingdom Hearts 2 Sephiroth, for me anyway, was harder. But this makes sense to see this on here. He also, you know, I see he has Strike Rate equipped. That's like how you cheese this fight. I want to know why he's not using Strike Rain. It's fine. Just in case oh, he was there, I guess, a little bit. He probably was. Maybe we just didn't see it. All right. Understandable. Understandable. Only got a couple minutes left. I'm curious who number one's going to be. I don't even know if there's an order. All right. 
One that I actually agree with, yes. Lingering Will. I still think even with the addition of Yazora and the and the three data fights, Ultimate I'd say Lingering Will is definitely still in the top Lingering five hardest is an optional boss in the series. Available. He presents such a challenge that entire wiki pages have been dedicated to him. From the start of the fight, the Lingering Will gives no heed. <laughs> you can probably say that about a lot of bosses in any game. Sora needs to make There's wiki pages for everything nowadays. Avoid not only the lingering will, but also his drones that will hunt you relentlessly. His drones. <laughs> his drones. Yeah, lingering will. You just like don't know what he's like. Small window to do as much damage as possible before the living suit of armor recovers. Yeah, like the thing with this fight is like you can um, cause like he has like attacks that you can memorize, but he can do like different patterns at different like he can do like a different set of patterns at different times so he could do like he can do like his rising sun attack and then just do that and then land and then you can attack him or he can do that and then he can do a whip attack and then another whip attack and like you don't know like what he's gonna do you know so it's like memorizing the attacks and then also um you know just being all reacting to like the patterns, I guess, you know, it's, it's definitely a hard one. It's definitely tough. I, on the moon, I, I, I agree with this. Absolutely. Whatever you do, don't rely on Donald to heal you. <laughs> Classic. All right. Is he on the, that's it. With our picks, don't forget to stick around and check out our other videos on virtual place. Um, <laughs> I'm wondering if like these other videos, if uh, people who are like fans of like Mass Effect, I haven't played every Final Fantasy game, or like people who are fans of Kirby games will like see these and like kind of like react the same way. But um, honestly, like with this list, I think realistically, I only agree with Lingering Will and maybe the Ice Titan and maybe Sephiroth, but I would I would put Kingdom Hearts 2 Sephiroth, I think is, in my opinion, I think it's more difficult. Um, but every again, everyone's different. Definitely an interesting list. No Yazora. Part of me is like surprised, but the other part of me is not surprised because again, if we're going from like a casual standpoint, I don't know like if the guy who's narrating did these or if like someone else did them or whatever. Um, but Yazora is pretty tough to get to. Like the, the 13 data fights, Leading up to Yazora, I would argue is is harder than almost every single fight on this list outside of maybe Lingering Will and maybe, maybe Sephiroth. This is still the funniest thing to me. <laughs> the gummy ship boss. Um, that's, um, I definitely did not see that coming, I'll say that. My list would have been different. I definitely would have had, obviously, Yazora, Mysterious Figure, maybe even uh, Vanitas Lingering Sediment, Spirit, whatever the freak he's called. From Birth by Sleep. I would have had uh, the unknown, like, Xemnas fighting Kingdom Hearts 1. I would have put data fights on this list. I definitely don't think, out of all the Kingdom Hearts 2 fights, I would have put Roxas. Like, if, even if we're just giving story fights, right? Like, I would think that, like, I'm just trying to think. Like, I think, like, Zaldin as like a story fight is like maybe more difficult than Roxas. Even like Demix, depending on like what difficulty you're playing on. Zigbar, you know, like some of these other fights. It's definitely a list. Um, I definitely don't agree with the Grim Reaper. There was no Kurt Ziza. There was no Phantom, like Clock Tower Phantom. Definitely interesting. I, I definitely don't think whoever made this list experienced all the fights that Kingdom Hearts has to offer. Obviously, I mean, there was, there was not, there was only one, two, Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and 3 on this list, you know. Uh, but even with that, I mean, I think the Phantom at the Clock Tower in Kingdom Hearts 1 is probably one of the hardest bosses in the game just because, like, you have to, like, you've got to just manage your magic, you know? And, like, that's it's literally just magic management, and if you're not prepared, you're going to die. I needed something like this today. I think it is important to see what other people think. I needed something to, you know, up my mood today. <laughs> I'm sure uh, Kingdom Hearts Twitter and the comments are... Uh, absolutely freaking out. Do I even dare read the- oh gosh. I'm like reading through these comments and, um, yeah, he's getting- he's getting torn apart. I feel- <laughs> I feel bad, but, uh, it is a list. I definitely don't agree with most of it. This is definitely a fun watch. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And, um, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down below in the comments and, uh, 
yeah, because this was this was definitely fun. <laughs> I I have nothing else to say. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Hope you guys have a good day. Take care.